love bugs it's me loverly welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome back to the sims 4 cottage living lp um we are back again with our poncho family ranch here uh, i called it a ranch but we don't really have animals yet we will get some ranch style animals like cows soon enough but yeah this is our poncho family farm and yeah uh, it's a bright and early morning here and um you know, oh, by the way, check that out. Look at that giant moon. Oh my gosh. That's a huge moon. But yeah, um, it's early, early morning. It's 5 a.m., almost 6 a.m. here. Um, I just put all my family to sleep. So, you know, you didn't miss anything really. Oh, it looks like Rosa's up for the morning. So that's nice. Uh, we're not going to do a neighborhood brawl. No, that's not part of my storyline here. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, this is our little family home, and today, uh, if you're here, uh, by the way, if you liked the last part, and you're still somehow interested in this little setup I have of continuing my Sims, uh, my Sims 4 Seasons LP that I did years ago, uh, thank you so much for being here, I appreciate that, um, I'm glad you're interested in, in, what we can accomplish here today um now that being said i'm like i'm trying to think what i really want to do today um and the last part i totally forgot to mention that we have this little like this little hut here and this is like kind of our workstation so rosa actually uh was doing flower arrangements last time and flint actually did a lot of sculptures as well i kind of mentioned that um but what we really want to do is craft the furniture. Here we go. Okay. So I think we're super close to being able to craft that elusive toilet that we want for our little outhouse here. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely try to do that. Um, now we do need to harvest all the apples. So when Flint gets up, um, which is pretty soon. Okay. I think we should all try to get on a schedule. So I think I'm going to wake up all my Sims. It's 7 a.m., you know, early rising. <laughs> you got to you gotta rise early in on the farm, right? So 7 a.m. is late enough. Oh, my gosh, what happened to the stove? Uh-oh. Uh um, okay, I don't even know what's happening to the stove right now. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. It looks like it's just... Um, it looks like it's just broken. Okay, can we fix that? That looks that does not look good. Um, let's let me check on their skills because honestly, I totally forgot who has what skills. So let's let's look at this, right? Okay, so ignore the video gaming. There were no video games, but of course, you know, I don't have any mods. I, sh I guess I should have said this in the first part. I don't have any mods. I play completely vanilla Sims, right? But I have every single pack except for the kits. So every single stuff pack, expansion pack, and game pack. Yeah, all those. <laughs> um, but I don't have any kits. So uh, yeah, we're almost at level two. We really have to get better at that. You know, she really likes that uh, chess table we have. So um, yeah, this is Maple. Maple really likes the chess table. But um, we definitely need to improve our, our cooking, our gardening fishing maybe yeah so we'll be doing that um now oh i did look this up i forgot to mention well i'll tell you in a second here <laughs> i'm trying to see who has a repair skill that's what i'm looking at okay oh yes right and uh so that's great so dad has gardening maxed out which is great and handiness is level seven okay so we need to get this up to level 10 as well so we can make that toilet um otherwise not too many skills here what about rosa rosa's gardening also maxed out flower arranging only to level two wow i did not <laughs> i did not work on the flower arranging like i should so we definitely want to max out flower arranging for mom then we can sell our flower arrangements which i know is a season thing but you know we didn't get around to doing that last time um all right and let's see 
All right. So, yeah. <laughs> the grandparents kind of need to chip in on the farm as well. They don't have much gardening. So, the grandparents and the kids, uh, the young adults, I should say, definitely need to improve their gardening skill. Um, yeah. And then their cooking skills. Yeah, because Rosa's cooking skill is the highest. Okay, but nobody really has... No, sorry. Dad has the most handiness. Right, that's correct. So <laughs> let's have Dad actually repair this first thing in the morning. Because um, then we also want to... Ooh, we forgot to put that away in the fridge. We also want to be able to get some leftovers, right? Let's see. Um, yeah, let's grab a serving of that after we fix this. Okay, Dad's coming downstairs, which is great. So, um, last time I was talking about, I don't really know what time period I wanted to set this in, and I did look it up, and uh, one-room schoolhouse is the last one-room schoolhouse uh, in America, at least, closed their doors in 1967, so actually a lot later than I figured, and because I know this because I remember um, my grandmother told me that she actually... Uh, worked in a, not worked <laughs> she went to a one room schoolhouse when she was a child so um you know it was like it was fairly recently i was gonna say you know it's it's kind of like early 1900s um you know so like 1920s 1930s um, my grandma was born in 1935 so she was you know i'm gonna say that this time period was 1940 1945 because the kids were going to school when it was like they were they went to this one room schoolhouse, right? For their schooling. That's what we said at least. <laughs> um, so yeah. We're gonna we're gonna say that the time period right now is nineteen forty five. And when the when the kids get older it's gonna be we're gonna start moving into nineteen fifties, which is gonna be great because then we can really like make this place cute and I just love I just adore the the um, aesthetic of nineteen fifties, you know, obviously not the political stuff but i definitely do love the aesthetic of the 1950s um so i think that's gonna be kind of fun it's gonna work in our favor because right now it's you know we're gonna say that until these young adults grow up to adults it's 1940s and then they'll grow into their 1950s and then we can give them like makeovers and like have cuter outfits because there's a, so much cute clothing Okay, great. Dad finished that. So that's great. Um, did you get your meal? <laughs> no. <laughs> For some reason, the daughter started eating the meal. I don't know. I wasn't, I was talking and I wasn't paying attention. Here we go. Let's, <laughs> can you just grab a serving? Oh, you know what? It's because I was not even on the dad, right? Is that what happened? I think so. <laughs> anyway, good job, dad, repairing the stove. Now, See, we already did give Rosa a little bit of a makeover with the brand new um, Cottage Living Pack stuff, right? So <laughs> it's um, definitely, I would say, the bottom half probably not accurate. You know, this is, we're, we're doing loose-based loose uh, history. This is not, definitely not, like, super um, historically accurate, let's say, right? <laughs> But this is like nineteen late nineteen forties, early nineteen fifties is what I'm gonna say. Um, rural, you know, rural country. <gasps> what happened to all of our plants here? Oh, it's okay. The last day of fall. Oh my gosh. <gasps> all right. So this is actually important. That's right. It's the last day of fall. <laughs> can't, holidays currently underway and can't be canceled. Oh no. All right, well, that's good to know. I, sh I should have canceled this because we can, wait, we can heart them? <gasps> and today is a festival. That's right. Okay, well, we'll definitely heart the, that festival. And you know what? We will heart. Mm, maybe I should unheart the romance festival. That is so funny. Wait, today... Today is all of the festivals. Oh, yeah, that's so funny. I forgot about that. Okay, so what we'll do, though, is we're going to go to the llama fair, obviously, because that is a new thing. And I really want this family to get some llamas. I think that would be so cute. Um, so, yeah, we'll do that. But we need to see, is there anything that we can... 
Oh no! Okay. <laughs> All our trees disappeared! I don't know why. It, this should have happened the day... I don't know why they're still not here. Well, that's fine. You know what? <laughs> it's fine. We're just going to get rid of this. We're going to go to that festival, though. When does the festival start? Also, we should have um, Rosa work on flower arranging, maybe. Um, do we have any flowers? No. <laughs> we have bluebells. Hold on. We have... Can we make a bluebell arrangement? Yes, we can. All right. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, but that requires snapdragons and daisies. All right. Well, you know what? Let's make a few of these. Can we batch make these? Is that a thing we can do? I don't think so. All right. Well, we'll have Rosa do that. I was, I was like all ready to like harvest all the, fl uh, you know, all the apples. We had to fix the stove and then they disappeared by 9 a.m. That was so weird. All right, well, I didn't even realize, but this is kind of a good thing, right? We can kind of start fresh, maybe, and we can we can kind of move on from these crops that we had since the last season, right? <laughs> Literally since seasons, and um, yeah, we can start thinking about planting what new things we want to plant. Obviously, in the winter, there's not a lot to plant during the winter, but we definitely can work on having animals during the winter, I believe. So that's going to be nice. Mushroom conserve. That's right. So we do want to save some of the fruits and vegetables that we have. We've got tons of things like black beans, potatoes, onions, mushrooms, grapes, blackberries, apples, tomatoes. We have a few lilies. Okay. When are these... The season is summer. Okay, so we're waiting to plant those. Let's see what Dad has in, in his inventory here. I really wish they would use the dining table more often. In fact, this is very awkward the way I've built this house. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay. Can you weed all of this? Okay, I really wish I, he didn't have that either. It kind of takes away... And I know it's, like, cool or whatever, but I wish you could tell him to not use that or to use it. Like, I wish it was an item that they would have. You know what I mean? Because it's kind of annoying. <laughs> anyway, oh, no. Okay, well, we definitely have to repair these, so. Um. Now, what does uproot plant do? Do we put these in our inventory if we uproot them? Because we might want to do that, right? Does it save them? Let's let's find out. Well, uh, oh, you can't. Hold on. Why can't you repair that? I'm not sure, but let's let's check out. What does uproot mean? Oh, is it throwing it away? Oh, we just throw it away. Okay, then never mind about that. I mean, we don't. I'm not gonna uproot these one by one. That's ridiculous. That's too much work. It's too much reality. But you know what? Um, this says sheltered. Okay. So if I took one of these from outside, replaced it, right? So these are mushroom plants. I wonder if I should turn the barn almost into our greenhouse, quote unquote. I really want like a, an official greenhouse somewhere. That's what I should build. And I should build like, um, so we got all these fun like animal shelters. Um, how much does it cost to buy these things? We need to work toward this, right? And also we really should check on the bees because I feel really bad we don't have... Um, there it is. We t we have not <laughs> have not been caring for these poor bees. They are er enraged. The poor neglected bees. Um all right. So let's see. We only have 391 simoleons, right? So not a lot to work with. But that being said, um 
How much is this? Okay, so the animal shed is only 500. Not too bad. And then the chicken coop is only 400. <gasps> That's so awesome. Okay, so those are a lot cheaper than I thought they would be, which is fantastic. So that means we only need 900 simoleons to get our chicken coop and everything um, going. Now, I wish, I really wish I had like a mod or something that I could click on these and like, you know, sell them, quote unquote, and yeah <laughs> I should get one of those right because I would like to put them here but then obviously so let's see how much would that be if we had obviously if we sell this it's gonna give us money so we don't want that we want to remember we have 391 simoleons right I'm just gonna write this down real fast. let's see we have 391 simoleons and then if we were to say that each one of these things oh my gosh ah! hold on stop everything the bike the bike is here oh my gosh so cute and the little chicken gnome oh my gosh both worth only a hundred wow all right well so cute i really wish i could buy this right now but we're gonna have to hold on that we're gonna have to hold off I mean until next time what now what happened hold on see these are things that I did not check out last time the tree oh my gosh look at this tree that is so cute oh oh it doesn't have different swatches <gasps> oh okay I see I thought they I thought maybe it would come in different swatches well that's cool i'm assuming this tree changes with the seasons <gasps> this tree is only 30 simoleons shut up okay well we're gonna obviously have to put this tree somewhere plant this tree somewhere on our property as well you know what let's put the tree back here there we go all right so we've planted that let's just pretend it was always there all right <laughs> but um i will spend the money on it because it's only three thirty right? Maybe, maybe they got it from a, a neighbor. Maybe we'll say <laughs> anyway. So yeah, if I said like, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, okay, 16, 17, 18, 19, mm. hold on, I'm thinking here, I'm thinking how I want to set this up, uh, oh yeah, there we go, 20, all right, so if we say that's five simoleons each, then that's minus 100, um, simoleons for 20 removals, right? So then that's 291 simoleons. And so I will just change the money. I'll use a cheat here and go money 291. There we go. So that's our money. Um, because you know, it costs a little bit to remove kind of like in Stardew Valley. All right. So now we can work toward our goal right and so we want to be able to sell some things so maybe if mom makes a bunch of uh if mom continues to can today we can sell the cans at the fair right possibly hopefully let's see let's make a bunch more tomato sauces um mushroom or sorry meat substitutes Let's just make a bunch of this stuff. And actually, hold on. We have some in the fridge. Okay, here we go. So let's keep her, them in her inventory, actually. So they can just eat. So make sure that nobody eats these things. They can eat the leftover stuff from, again, the <laughs> Harvest Fest. That was just two days ago. Now, I wish we had even more um, things to cook here. 
for canning. What else? We would need apples. Well, okay, don't we have apples? Oh, we need sugar. That's right. We'll need sugar. Apparently, there's raspberries. We do have blackberries as well, but we need sugar. Um, strawberries. I would love to plant some strawberries and blueberries. I don't know when those are in season, but that would be awesome. We don't have any eggs or milk yet because we need chickens and cows for those, but I can't wait to do those. Then we have, we don't have choco berries either yet or lettuce. All this, I'm just so excited for all this. It's like, I can't wait to do everything. And a cow plant berry. Oh my gosh. Oh no, not the little baby cow plants. Oh no, I didn't even realize that. You're using little baby cow plants. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. So what time is it? It's already 11. Oh my gosh. So mom can get cooking. Let's have mom get cooking here. Uh, grandpa, can you wait? Is this spoiled? Okay. I'm going to clean that up. Don't eat something spoiled. Um, what is everyone doing? Y'all are just sitting around. <laughs> grandpa, can you like get some clothes on please? No, don't eat that. Oh my gosh. Grandpa, don't eat it. Don't, don't. Oh my gosh. <gasps> he just ate spoiled food. Grandpa, I hope you have a good stomach. <laughs> oh no. Go, just, it's okay, Grandpa. Just clean that up. You can get leftovers. Oh my gosh, why is all this food on the floor? Who was putting this on the floor? Oh my gosh. Uh, hello? This game. Uh, wait. 40 minutes until spoiled. Grandpa, eat that quick. <laughs> no, we don't want. Oh my gosh. I don't want headphones. That kills the vibes. All right. Um, you know what? I'm going to say, just like in Stardew Valley 2, we're, well, I don't know. I'm going to have to get rid of all of this, and I don't know a, a better way to do it besides just deleting them, you know? All right, there we go. And again, I did not realize that that was going to... Um, change my money. So let's put it back to 291. I don't think we changed um, money <laughs> since then. There we go. All right. So we do want to go to the llama farm, uh, but I want to be able to take some things to sell. You know what? I think dad should also probably take some of these sculptures and we'll, we'll sell all these little sculptures that dad has crafted over the, the years and see if we can sell these, you know? We're kind of just, we're just kind of gonna set up shop and take our wares and hope for the best here. Maybe this little stool, oh no, it doesn't let me drag it in, so that's fine. But yeah, um, yeah, but the whole reason I cleared this area was that we're gonna eventually want to put the little, um, animals here. Unless we should put the animals in the barn. What do y'all think? Should I put the animals in the barn? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I have no plan. That's the problem. I should have really thought about this. Um, <laughs> better. Let's put these in here, actually. Got these little planters. And this is kind of our makeshift, like, greenhouse, kind of. Like, this will eventually switch, like change into a greenhouse. Um, but it's like their entrance too. So I don't know, maybe I should make this the entrance. It makes more sense if this area is the entrance. So I might have, I might literally adjust some things about the, uh, the outside of this house. Cause I don't love the way the house looks. I'll be honest. I'm not, not in love with it, but I want to try to change, change it up. Um, now is there anything? Let's see. We could also go fishing. Mom can do some flower arrangements. See, today I was thinking we would do more planting or more harvesting, but then <laughs> it, the plants decided to die like the, the day before. So I was not expecting that. But um, when does this heart, when does, <laughs> keep calling it a harvest festival, when does the llama festival or llama fair, excuse me, the Finch Wick llama fair, when does that start? When does that start? 3.30 to 9.30 p.m. Okay. So let's read the fair flyer. There we go. Yeah. Finch Wick llama fair. 
Saturday, 3.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Location near the gnome's arms. Yeah, so that was the area that I said, I was like, I bet you anything this is where they're setting up these fairs. So this says llama competition. Hoof it over and bring your llama too for the llama competition. Wool competition. Bring your best wool to be judged. The more colorful, the better. Purchase unique items. Visit local shop stalls to purchase unique items and sell your own wares. There we go. That's what we want to do. Sell your own wares for more simoleons than normal. Fantastic. And then win ribbons. Compete in the fairs competitions to win ribbons. All right. Perfect. So that is what we're going to do. I'm glad I haven't missed it. I was a little worried about it. I was like, oh no, am I uh, late for this affair? <laughs> am I, am I wait, late for the the important date? I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. <laughs> All right. The time to say hello. Goodbye. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. All right. Fantastic. So uh, Rosa has completed. Oh, I see. Okay. So every time she makes them, I was wondering why. So she puts extras in her inventory apparently and then she sets one down on the counter okay that's cool i like that all right so it's noon right now i mean the girls don't really have anything to do i, I want to try to go through and see um and that's spoiled <laughs> all right can you clean that up actually uh can you get something to eat if you're hungry i know i want her to keep canning though you know what? You can eat at the fair, right? Let's keep canning. I want you to can as much as you can. Wait, what? Maybe we'll get a good even amount of everything. Yeah, mushroom conserve. Can we make more of those? Um, canning. Here we go. Mushroom conserve. Make the... Oh, sh shoot. Hold on. Let me try that one more time. I keep trying to click mushroom conserve and then I forget like it's a drop down window and then I have to select it like that. <laughs> I'll get used to it. I swear. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm still learning how this whole thing works. Okay. There we go. So hopefully she can make a few of those, which is good. Self-sustaining from cooking with the simple living lot challenge. Oh, that's awesome. There's no better feeling than cooking with already owned ingredients. Yay. That's so cool. So that's definitely a new little, you know, fun reaction down here. I forget what you call these. What do we call these again? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's been too long since I played this game. I'm just so happy that I'm playing again and recording for YouTube because, you know, I used to stream the Sims and like, it was fun, but I was always like, I was always like, oh, I'm going to put it up on YouTube after the fact. And like, I never did because I, I'm so, so I'm so sorry that I, it was like, I kept wanting to do that. Gosh, but like to do it on, on YouTube or to not record specifically for YouTube is just a whole nother thing. Like trying to, to stream it and then put it up on YouTube. Yeah, I just, I always got lazy, and then I just never put it up on YouTube. I was like, yeah, I streamed it, and you know, oh, it's in my, my Twitch VOD, so whatever. But yeah, I'm so happy to be playing this again. Uh-oh, can you uh, fill the cat's bowl, please? Now, hopefully we make enough to buy, um, uh, who hasn't eaten? Hopefully we make enough to buy both the, the barn, like the little barn, for the animals, animal stall, what do they call it? <laughs> and the coop, the chicken coop. Um, who hasn't eaten? What What do y'all need? What? Okay, you need to sleep, you're tense. Take a nap on the couch, you know? <laughs> I want everyone to be in a good mood. Why is everyone so tense? Yeah, vent to your father, I don't know. Enthuse about the outdoors, yeah. Um, what's mom doing? Hold on, put that in your inventory, and then, are you hungry? What does mom need? Mom is hungry, so you know what? Eat this turkey dinner. <laughs> she came over here, but she didn't bring the food. Look at this mess, though. I mean, look, we had, clearly we had a fire. Maybe they're all tense because they need to clean the floors. Can you clean the floor, maybe? All right, she's, she's, she just needs fun. I don't, for some reason, I don't think cleaning the floor will be that fun for her. <laughs> <laughs> but we can make her do it anyway. Um, let's see. Oh. 
Flint became good friends with Hazel. Aw, that's cute. Father and daughter. Adorable. All right. So it's 2.30. We only have about an hour. How is everyone's mood? Okay, you need a bath. Are you going to take one? I don't know why I couldn't fix this bathtub. You know what? Let's have Dad mop and then try again, I guess. Maybe the water was just in the way. Not really sure why Dad couldn't repair this. Also, ew, disgusting. Clean the litter box, too. Um, okay, what does Mom need? Mommy's social. Yeah. Why don't you come and talk to your daughter? Come and chat. Tell a, a story. Aw, wait. Become best friends with the daughter. That's so cute. Why not? That's adorable. Ask about day. Um, talk about the weather. We all just need fun. Um. Okay. Grandpa, can you come up here? Oh, no. Who's in the bathtub right now? Oh, Tiger Lily. Oh, that's the grandma. Um. Can you clean the toilet and then use it? Like, all right. Grandpa needs to clean. I d Grandpa didn't eat. Grandpa. This is the worst part about having a large family. Is like I feel like I have to micromanage everything, even if they have, you know, um. Oh, okay. Yeah, eat that. Then eat those leftovers. We have a whole nother. <laughs> turkey dinner in here okay yay the finchridge fair has started okay we've got to do that grandpa are you okay we got to get going y'all is everyone ready um oh gosh oh they became friends okay oh wait wait why do you have this in your inventory hold on grandma stole some of our mushrooms we are trying to sell those grandma <laughs> Okay, um, all right, so at least mom here is in a very confident, happy mood. That's great to see. Um, uh, what's dad's problem here? Uncomfortable. Oh my gosh. Why? Oh, by the way. Okay, let's, uh, can we breed these frogs together? Yay, okay, we got an extra frog. Maybe we can put that on the table as well. All right, so we've got some things we can put out. And we're going to all go to that fair. So let's go. We're half an hour late. You know, we are fashionably late to this thing. But let's go check out the fair. I definitely want to see what this is all about because this is, you know, the cottage living. This is what the cottage living is all about. So let's travel to that fair. Let's go with everybody Except for the cat. Sorry, kitty. You have to stay home. <laughs> but let's all go. Uh, game? Can we all go? Wait. No, no, no. I don't want... I am so happy, though, that they finally put these festivals on the calendar. That's so nice. But I want to go to the Finchwick Fair. Let's go. Let's, everybody, let's go. Let's go. Huh? Oh no, is this a glitch? <laughs> All right, oops. Let's, let's just go <laughs> with the map then. Let's go. All right, here we are at the Finchwick Fair. Look at this. <gasps> yes, the little animal shed. Oh. oh, we can't submit entries. Okay, well, hopefully some entries will show up because I'm really curious what this is all about. Look at that cute little llama. Oh my god, that is such a precious sign. That is so cute. And this one too. Look at the mama llama. The mama llama and the two little baby llamas. So cute. Oh, this one's full. Interesting. Okay, so we do have some here and here. Okay, oh. Wait. Oh, that's the feed level. Okay, interesting. Yeah, but here we are. It looks so much nicer today. When we first came here, it was very overcast but this is beautiful look at that finchwick fair Ooh, ah so cool okay um oops you know i realized silly me okay you know what we should do this because i realized i didn't get too many good um 
thumbnail pictures. That's one thing that I forget about because, you know, I, like I said, I used to just stream The Sims and, um, you know, took a break from making actual LPs. So I keep forgetting that I should probably, um, you know, get some good thumbnails here. So let's go here. Let's go here together. Let's see. Let's see how this works. <laughs> We're going to ignore the flat screen TV. Because, again, it's supposed to be like the 1940s, 50s, I don't know. The time period is off, okay? It's not, it's not perfect. <gasps> Look at the llama! Oh my god, the first llama! Wait, why didn't you go downstairs? Okay, this is annoying. Go here. I just want my sisters to go here so we can get like a nice picture, okay? That's so hard to ask. Oh, there's, okay. Here's mom. I don't know, maybe we should take a picture of mom while she's here. Let's take a picture. Oh, hug lovingly. Cute. See if I can take a picture. Now, I know, I know, this is a cell phone. I know they didn't have these back then. Okay, I'm aware of that. But, I really like when they have photos together, so we're going to ignore that fact, okay? Technically, they did have cameras. It just wasn't smartphone cameras, right? Technically, they did have cameras as far back as the 19, gosh, I think 1900, they had, um, what I heard, I heard it was called like a brownie box. Cause like, you know, the first person who ever, uh, took a selfie apparently was Princess Anastasia. Yes, that Princess Anastasia. She was the first to ever take a selfie and it, within that selfie, cause she was taking a picture in a mirror, you saw a brownie box camera and I just recently learned that that's what that type of camera was called it was a brownie box and it was it's such, it's cute because it's like this little brown box camera that you wind up on the side or something I don't know it looks really cool you should look it up okay can we not talk though I wanted to take a picture gosh this is gonna be the whole thing I wanted to talk I want to look at the llamas too but I want to take a picture can we take a picture please finally my goodness they are so angry because they want to have fun. Okay, here we go. Wait, <laughs> the sister's head is in the way. All right, that might not be the best picture, but there we go. Oh, look at mom and daughter. Super cute. Okay, and then I wanted to have the sisters take a picture, but I wanted them to go over here first. <sighs> Sims, 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 Sims. They never do what you want, you know? Okay, come on. Yes, uh, shoot. Go here, go here. Please. Thank you, my goodness. Okay, she really has to pee. Uh, but uh, can you can you take a photo? Can you hug your sister and then take a photo with your sister as well? Because these two are twins. They're best friends. They grew up together. And matching little tights and shoes. <laughs> and there's a llama. Oh my god, look at that. Look at the cute llama. Can you guys just take a picture? Just take a picture. Why won't they take a picture? Why you gotta be like this? She's like, I gotta pee. I know, but can you just take a picture first? My gosh. This is why I never do this with my sims. Because it takes forever to get them... Like, I love the picture that we get eventually, but oh my gosh, it takes way too long. Oh, I was hoping they'd get the llama in the background. Okay, that's fine. Well, at least there's a barn in the background. That's cute. Okay, you know what? We can, we can work with this. We can align this up perfect. There we go. This will be probably my thumbnail, either for the first one or the second one, because I realized I didn't have a thumbnail for the first one. Okay. But, you know what? For the second one, let's get a picture of somebody... Interacting with this llama. Look at it. Oh my god. Talk about llama economics. What? What? Aw. No. Why would you do that? It's so mean. Tell a joke about how it's a no problem llama. Aw. Okay. This is cute. Can we... Should we... I don't know. Should we work up to it? I feel like we should view it from afar. Kind of like... I feel like this is kind of like... The safest bet is probably to pet first, right? And then, then do we... Is it too soon to go into a hug right after? No, you know, let's tell a joke. You know, we gotta, we gotta work up to it. You know, we gotta, 
we can't just immediately hug the llama, right? That would scare the llama, I think. So let's let's try to build up to it. But let's check out this cute little llama. Oh my gosh. Look at the llama. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have not seen this llama. I've literally avoided tried to avoid so many spoilers for this for this exact reason because I wanted to see this on my own. This is so cute. I wanted to see this in my game. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay. Um this is precious. All right. Hold on. Let's try to I'm gonna. Aww. Oh, she's telling a joke now. Oh, the llama likes it. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Aw, what's the llama's name? Oh my gosh. This is literally the precious, most precious thing I've seen. So, yeah, this is definitely gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> Spoilers. No, you probably clicked on it because of this picture, right? Look how cute this is. Oh my gosh. I just wish the, the black hole was in the background there. Okay, there we go. Maybe this is a better angle. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. That is hecking adorable. There we go. Yeah. Okay. I <laughs> Hopefully I got enough angles and stuff to get a good picture for the thumbnail. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. I want this llama. I, we got to get a llama. Should we, should the llama be the first thing we get? See, the wool, we don't need the wool as much, though. That's the only problem. Ask about what llama is doing in the countryside. Yeah, what are, what are you doing here, buddy? What is your name, by the way? Is your name literally just llama? Because that's kind of sad. Can we talk about economics? <laughs> the llama did not like the third degree. The llama was like, don't ask me why I'm here. Like, duh. You know why I'm here. Oh my god, that is too heckin' cute. I love that. Ooh, so we've got some red llama wool here. And it looks like a, just another batch of red llama wool. Okay. Alright. So not much else here, but it's very cute. I love this. So yeah, like I said um, in the last part, which it was like raining and all dreary. But this is so pretty. Like, look at this town. It's so precious. And I love that they've got this set up here. So like I had suspected, this empty field is for the, um, you know, the fairs and stuff. So that's awesome. Um, now, unfortunately, we don't, well, actually, you know what? The reason we came here, let me not forget, the real reason we came here was to sell our wares. And they said we would have a place to do that. Now, I'm not seeing it. I thought there would they would provide stalls for us. Um, unfortunately, I'm not seeing it. Now, look at this, though. Look how these little houses are built. Oh, and they got a little chicken coop. Okay, I can't wait till we get a chicken coop. So, the I, the thing is, right, we want at least 900 simoleons, probably a little bit more. We're trying to aim for, like, a 1,000. Oh, my gosh. Whoa, look at that moon. What is with the giant moon? That was a little glitchy. What is with the giant moons in this town? The moon is huge right now. All right, um, yeah, I'm not seeing where we can set up shop, unfortunately. I was under the impression we'd have a place to sell our wares, which is not fair because uh, we really need to get some money so we can buy this cute little llama barn. I don't even know how much it costs to stock them. That's a, probably a, another expense, but we want to at least buy the chicken coop and the barn or whatever you call this, the shed, the shed, the animal shed. Yeah, but I'm not seeing it. Does anyone know? Please let me know if you um, have any idea what they mean by being able to sell things. Is that just something that we can't do? Is that the sun too? Oh my God, look how beautiful this is. Look at that sky. That's gorgeous. You know, I'm bi, so, you know, it's, it's bi approved. Look at the bi colors, the blue, purple, pink. So cute. Or pink, purple, blue, technically. <gasps> and this little well. Well, well, well. That is so beautiful. I mean, can I just take a second to, like, appreciate... Oops, there we go. Let's put the roof on that building back there. But can we just take a, a second to appreciate the design of this 
town. This is so, so cool. Oh, there's another little llama sign. Yeah, and then, wait, we can window shop. Can we sell our wares? I was hoping that I would sell it um, with one of those vendor things, but do I have to buy that vendor thing? You know what? I can't, hold on. I can do. <laughs> Apparently, I can buy a vending thing. Um, and the sad part is they didn't, do I have to buy one that's like from a different pack? Cause I can do that. Like there's one that comes in jungle adventures, right? So there's not all bar, bar items. Um, where's the little vending stall? This thing craft sales table. Okay. This now I know it's like, we're going to stick it here. Okay. And I don't know if this, oof, that was expensive too. It was 300. There's another plasticky looking one, but again, you know, technically probably would have the more typical thing. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to actually leave this here then. Um, cause that way we can always come here to sell. Right. But then, like I said, um, in the last part, I did make that, um, farmer's market as well. So can we, We don't own this item. Oh, shoot. Okay, we don't even have the money for it. Okay, well, darn. We can't even... We can't even sell on that thing. Oh, that's such a bummer. All right. Plus, I thought you used to be able to sell on any table. Because, um... Then I won't even be able to sell on my own farmer's market. Because I had a bunch of these tables in that jungle farmer's market that I built. Oh, bummer. All right. Well, I mean, I guess in this case, we got to go home, right? I was really hoping I could sell my wares. Because, um, you know, mom has a bunch of tomato sauce and mushroom conserve and meat substitutes to sell. But we have nowhere to sell them. And this is closed. Um... Yeah, I'm not really sure what we can do here. Um, there's not much here at the moment. I'll be honest, I'm a little disappointed. I I was under the impression we could sell our wares. Did something not load properly? Did did this not say? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna be a little salty about this. Did this not say the fair flyer? Wait, that's the romance festival. So. The fair flyer. Did this not say? Visit the local shop stalls to purchase unique items and sell your own wares for more simoleons than normal. Okay, we got one more hour left. Is, am I supposed to sell my wares to the shop stalls? I don't know. I guess we could window shop. I guess that's something we could do. But I'm not, you know, these stalls are closed because they close at 7. I'm very confused, y'all. I'm very confused. All I can do is window shop in these in these places. Maybe I have to just window shop first. I don't know. Ugh, stop watching TV. Okay, I'm going to delete that TV. That's another thing I'm going to do. I'm sorry. Everyone's up here getting distracted by the stupid TV. I don't want a TV. It is not... There was no such thing. I mean, there were TVs, but definitely not flat screen TVs in the 1940s. Wait, was there... Yeah, I don't... I don't care. <laughs> Now it's like, oh, it's incomplete because there's no TV. Well, I don't want everybody up there all the time. I don't know. I think I might. I mean, I think I will definitely change this. This is cute. But I think I can make a better one maybe. So maybe that will be my first build to update this and make it a little uh, better layout. Because I don't really like this layout. You know, I like the idea of it being a bar, but I just don't like the layout of it. Uh, and maybe turn it into a restaurant. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, that's what I'll do. Um, yeah, what are, who are these people? Oh, she's a grocery shop owner. Oh, that's cool. We should definitely introduce ourselves to her. Maybe we can sell to her. Who are, who are you? Grocery shop owner. That's cool. I love her hairstyle, by the way. Super cute. Oh, look at that. She's got a little ribbon in her hair. That's precious. Okay. Go introduce... Why are you taking forever to go downstairs? 
It's already 9.30. The play, the competition's almost over. I mean, I'm assuming the one and only Llama won. <laughs> I don't really know. I don't know what I was expecting. I thought that maybe they would have, like, an actual Llama competition to watch. But it does not look like that. Oh, it says it's ending in one hour. Okay, so then it and technically ends at 10.30. Oh, my gosh. Everyone's got to pee. So this is what I would also do. I would definitely add more bathrooms. Like, just, just one of those stall bathrooms, you know, to quickly go if you need to go. You know? You know? You know? All right. Um, have a Henford heart-to-heart. -heart. Oh, that's cute. Oh, okay. So we met, met uh, Cecilia. I, I don't know how to say her name. Did we meet Derek? Okay, cool. And we met Kim. Okay, can you have a Henford heart-to-heart? Because -heart? what is that? That sounds cute. Oh my gosh, everyone's in the worst mood. <sighs> Heckin' Sims, am I right? Heckin' Sims. I want to shop. I want to do something. I want to sell my wares. I wanted to buy a thing today. Oh, okay. So there we go. We had a little heart to heart. That's cute. Oh, offer favor. Hold on. <gasps> offer Finchwick favor. Wait, what is this? Okay. Oh, as in like give a gift. You know what? We can we can give one. Hopefully not the whole stack, but we can give one. Let's give one, just you know, to give her a taste. Want ask you know, she'll end up wanting more. You know, it's it's this is not not a this is like kind of ulterior motives here, right? Because we've this is uh we're having her try the wares, so she gets addicted to it and asks for more. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Oh, shoot. I always forget that those don't show up. Help. Offer help with errands. Wait, what? Wait. Oh, my gosh. This is totally new. This is interesting. <gasps> Hold on. What? You can run errands? A simple request you ever have one of those days where you've got too much to do and not enough time to do it? Oh my god, this is so like Stardew Valley. This is amazing. I need some ingredients for my next meal, but I'm not sure when I'll have any spare time. Would you be able to help me out? Reward an assortment of ingredients, fertilizer, and if you're lucky, a freshly prepared meal. Hmm. Okay. That's only 90 though. A simple request. This says, I'm not sure if you've got any creatures on your own, uh, on your own farm, but I've been looking to get my hands on some fresh ingredients. Could you bring me some, uh, to me and save me a bit of time going back and forth on my own rewards, animal treats, upgrade parts for animal shed. <gasps> we can upgrade the shed. Oh, that's awesome. And change chance of new treat recipes and animal clothing oh, and a grocery delivery coupon. Well, that sounds awesome, but we definitely do not have animal products. So we can't do that yet. Um, too busy. It's lovely to see a new face around these parts, but I'm just too busy right now to make a proper introduction of myself. If you've the time and mind to be a help, would you be a deer and grab some of those grocery orders? Oh, and I've forgotten to eat again. Not to mention that bouquet I was going to make for my friend. <gasps> okay, so this one looks like we can do it. Rewards an assortment of eggs, milk, flour, cheese, sugar, and animal tree. Okay, so we need these things. We need sugar, remember? So maybe we can do this one. I mean, it seems like it's a step up from this one. But maybe we can do it because she was mentioning a bouquet of flowers. She said, um, I forgot, so do we have to just make her a meal and prepare a bouquet? And, like, talk to people? I, okay, we're going to try to do this one. Let's see. Wait, I can do all three. I don't know how this works. Select, oh, select up to three errands from the various locals to help. Oh, and to become a trusted member of the community. I, oh my gosh. Y'all, I had no idea. I had no idea about this. I love this. This is such a cool feature. I am all for this. That is so cool. Okay, so we can, we can have up to three errands for others too. So we have an errand for her. What is it? Collect four grocery orders. Okay, deliver single serving of food to the grocery owner. Deliver rows to the creature keeper. What's that? 
You're a lifesaver. I need to collect a few grocery orders. So just write down what Sims want and then let me know. And if you don't mind, I'm feeling a bit peckish and could use a bit to eat. Could you bring me any single serve of food of your choice? Surprise me. Oh, and here, let me give you a rose to take to the lovely creature keeper. Oh, good. She gave me the rose. I was like, I don't know where to get roses. To take to the lovely creature keeper who stays in the bramble wood. I'm a bit nervous to deliver it myself. Would you mind bringing it to them and telling me how it went? Oh, who is the creature keeper of bramble wood? Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, y'all, the plot thickens. This is so cool. I love this. All right, so that is a happy, happy revelation. I had no idea about this feature. Also, we have a cute little black umbrella. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, I'm just going to take another little picture. Oh my gosh, look at the stars. Wow, look at those stars. Oh my gosh, I love how many stars you can see here. Wow. The second star to the right. Okay. <laughs> Don't sue me, Disney. But yeah, that is so cool. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. That's amazing. Um, I don't want to get DMC <laughs> striked, so that's why I didn't continue oh. that song. But this is so cool. Yeah, because like Henford on Bagley is kind of like an English suburb, right? It's supposed to be English town. That is so cute. All right. Well, um, we didn't quite do what I expected to do today, but, you know, we got to meet a llama. We got to meet a lovely little llama mama aunt, so I'm happy. That was kind of a fun fair. Obviously, next next year in game, we will have a llama of our own, hopefully, that we can bring to the fair. But that was fun. We learned about, like, running orders and stuff. So all of our locals, so the more we get to know these peeps, <laughs> the more we can, you know, uh, do for them. That's so cool. I love that. Now it's really coming down. I think the weather changes a lot. Maybe, I was going to say, maybe it's because it's a British town that it, the weather constantly changes. Or Oh my gosh! Wow, speak of the devil, did you see that lightning? Oh my god, that's so cool. <gasps> or maybe that's just seasons. I don't know. Seasons in this LP. Wait, what is this? A notebook. What? Notebook? Oh, heck. That's new. Oh my gosh, we gotta get out of here. The lightning is coming down. All right, so we are back. Um, that was so much fun, going to the little Finchwick Llama Fair. I love that. And yeah, that was really cool. We got to meet a llama. So I'm super excited to get one of those animal sheds here. Now, we obviously didn't make enough money because sadly there was nowhere to sell our wares. But I think what I'll do is then we'll just put a little selling a, a ware here, right? In fact, did I have that at some point? I feel like, now that I think about it, did we ever have one of those? I'm not seeing it in anyone's inventory, so I guess we didn't. But yeah, we'll have to invest. So... You know, we do need 300 in order to buy one of those stalls, so I should do that real fast before I forget, right? Um, but yeah, this has been so much fun, and we took some cute pictures there. I like the background we had. Um, let me quickly see, what can we sell? Maybe we'll get away with just selling one more thing. I don't want to sell things out of the inventory too much, but let's sell one of these frogs, right? So that we can sell the wares and, like, the... You know, the flower arrangements and the the fun, like, you know, sauces and, and honey when we harvest that honey. Those poor bees. Okay, let me grab out real quick before I forget, right? We've got 411 simoleons now. Let's get one of those, I guess, just the Jungle Adventure ones. I don't think we got a new... Do we have one of those in Cottage Living? I don't think so. I looked at everything. I don't think there's any table to sell but if there is please let me know I would love to know if there's like a special one specifically for cottage living um but if not that's fine because we'll just we'll just do the awesome um jungle living or jungle adventure I'm sorry I keep mixing that up jungle adventure this little crafts table and we'll sell some wares next time okay 
Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this. Again, I'm sorry that it uh, it kind of went over time. <laughs> I really was trying to do, this is how, this is so how every LP goes with me. I try to only, you know, record like half an hour, ends up being an hour, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, where does the time go? Because I'm having so much fun. But yeah, thank you everyone who watched this LP. I hope you enjoyed this part. I'm super excited for the next part, and I hope you are too. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Leave a comment down below what you liked about this part the most, what you're excited about, what you love about Cottage Living the most. And yeah, thanks again so much for watching, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!